So let's try to learn what is Phantom JS, why we need Phantom JS, and the underlying architecture or under the hood or behind the scenes of Phantom JS. So Phantom JS, I have lifted directly this from the Phantom JS uh, JS.org website. Okay, so this is a full web stack. You don't need a browser. So Phantom JS is a headless web kit scriptable. I know that you can read this, so I'm not going to read that, but just to uh, tell you what exactly is phantom js you can uh, assume phantom js similar to a chrome browser or a firefox browser or an internet explorer browser just that the gui is missing the graphical user interface is missing so i hope that is clear so let's try to understand uh, why we need phantom js we have http clients um, very much like uh, curl wget and so so many of uh, of them out there and also we have browsers like chrome firefox internet explorer opera, uh, opera safari and all those now what exactly is phantom js it sits exactly in between these two meaning that you get all the features of http client and most of the features of browsers. So I'm not saying all the features, but most of the features of browser, but without a graphical user interface. So now let's move ahead and let's try to understand uh, what is uh, behind the scenes of Phantom JS. So Phantom JS, uh, you know, uses a WebKit, uh, which which is nothing but uh, a browser engine that is used mostly by all all of the major ios uh, applications the apple family um, like the safari browser and all this they use uh, the webkit uh, which is nothing but a browser engine and then you have uh, a c++ framework called qt it it uh, it is uh, known as qt but uh, we call that as qt and this is like an abstraction layer um, so you don't have to worry about the underlying architecture like uh, an underlying operating system like whether it is uh, linux uh, mac or windows or whatever it is so you just have to concentrate on um, um, on on not on the operating system but uh, you can pretty much work uh, along with the phantom js so this is basically the architecture uh, of how it looks behind the scenes and uh, uh, let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching the video